guys, on this show, we, we don't just talk about news in America. We are international. <laughs> international. <laughs> Thank you. And there was some strange news from Thailand this week because a man was arrested and is facing a steep prison sentence after making an insulting internet post about the king of Thailand's dog. <laughs> right? I know. <laughs> To be honest, of all the stories I've heard about Thailand, this is definitely the one that's the least about sex. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the man, this is true, the man could receive 37 years in prison for his comments. I mean, that is a lot. To put that in perspective, that's 259 dog years. <laughs> But this isn't that unusual, because the Thai government is also planning to execute a guy who pretended to throw a tennis ball, but actually just kept it in his hand the whole time. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, but... <laughs> too much? Too much? Should have stopped at the hand. Is that what you're saying? We loved it, James, until you pretend to do that. Uh, but, th but this dog is practically running the country. Like, if you ask me, it's more like knick knack paddywhack, give a dog a throne. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What am I? What am I? What am I throwing? What am I throwing? And that one was a little rough. <laughs> oh, fire tonight, guys! Woo! Um, <laughs> They're like, are we being too precious about our animals? Because in Thailand, they're considered members of the royal family. And now, a zoo in Massachusetts is actually selling artwork painted by its animals. Take a look. <laughs> I mean, I guess this confirms it. We finally know the true identity of Banksy. <laughs> people are actually up in arms that the zoo is taking advantage of these animals to make a profit. And when reached for comment, the zoo said, yeah, we're a zoo. <laughs> uh, but can, can we see that seal again? Have a look. Like, look at that. I'm pretty sure that guy isn't drawing. He's just trying to write help. <laughs> uh, but I feel like there is some artistic merit to these paintings, and the titles offer insight into the minds of the artists. Uh, check out this one. This one is titled... Someone gives me a fish when I do this. <laughs> this next one's a little more nuanced. Uh, this one is called, Someone gives me a fish when I do this. <laughs> and this last one is my favourite, and this one is titled, The Isolation of a New England Winter. <laughs> Parentheses, Someone gives me a fish when I do this. <laughs> 